Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create multiple workspaces so you can easily manage multiple instruments while using OANDA Forex data on the multi charts platform. So, to start off, I want to introduce the concept of a workspace on this platform. Essentially, what we're looking at right now is a workspace. As you can see, you can manage workspaces on the bottom left hand corner and they actually act as tabs per se. As you can see, we currently have two default workspaces that do open up with the platform by default. One with indices, one uh, stocks demo workspace. Obviously we're using Forex data, so we don't really plan on using either of these, but I just wanted to show you the concept of how these work. If for whatever reason you need to access the specific file location of your workspace, you can actually see it by just hovering over there. As you can see, it'll direct you to the exact path in your Windows directory of where the workspace is located. As you can see, if you right click on your workspace, you have options of how the settings are displayed with your tabs here, the tabs being the two indices and stock demo workspaces. You can swap back and forth between workspaces. You have a keyboard shortcut that can help you do that as well. You can close a specific workspace, close all your workspaces. You can save, save as, or rename your workspaces at any time. As you can see, we just named that demo. Let's actually close all these out. We don't want to save them. We don't want to save this one either. If you want to, you can check this off so you won't get these confirmation windows in the future. We'll leave that unchecked for now. But as you can see, this is now the default workspace of multi charts. And you can actually start to build it from the ground up. So let's say, for example, we wanted to open up a chart here. Let's let our chart window load. As you can see, we're using a WANDA as our data source. We have Euro US dollar typed in here. If we click OK, we just give it a second and our chart will now load. If we need to, we can organize this any way we want. You can actually come up to Windows here and you can arrange in. Uh, quite a few different manners right now you can arrange all so again if you have multiple it's just going to take whatever windows you have in here and manage those accordingly if you have one or two three it'll manage them horizontally you'll see when i open up a chart in just another second so let's open up another one just so you can see how this works here this time we'll do the british pound versus us dollar all right let's say i'm having a tough time organizing this then you can come up here arrange all, arrange horizontally, arrange vertically, and it'll arrange as needed. Let's actually close out these trading buttons so we can see more of our chart here. Let's continue adding on. Let's do another chart window. Let's pick a random contract. Let's do the Japanese yen versus US dollar. Now we come into a situation where we have three charts. Again, the window arrangement tool, no problem with this. Simply click cascade. Arrange vertically, horizontally. As you can see, the platform will handle essentially whatever uh, you throw at it. As you may have seen with those two original workspaces we started with, we probably had about six. Again, the platform will auto automatically recognize the amount of windows you have open and arrange them accordingly. If you are working with multiple monitors, you may want to come to window, detach window. As you can see, this becomes its own thing and Although you don't see my other monitor, I can just drag it off there. And if I want, I can essentially break out the platform and use it on multiple monitors as needed. If I wanted to put one chart on one monitor and increase it to full screen, just again, you come down a window, make sure that chart you want detached or attached is selected. So that being said, I had my monitor or my window that's on my other monitor last selected. If I click attach window, it'll come right back. You can even do this for things such as domes. Again, you can just open up a dome window, find your contract there. I believe this should arrange. Let's take a look and see what happens here. No, it actually doesn't handle the dome in the same manner as a chart. So just keep in mind, if you want to manage these windows, you'll just need to either switch to compact mode and then stick window or pin window. And that'll just make it so it's always on top there. Okay, so now for actual workspaces themselves and how they're utilized. Again, 
let's say for example you have a group of different instruments that correlates together somehow maybe to your method you need a specific set of instruments that are always displayed together and you have multiple groups of these instruments you can come to file save workspace as we'll name this group instruments save You'll now see in the bottom left that our group instruments workspace has been added and now this is its own entity. So let's come over to here. We'll go to new and then we'll click on workspace. And as you can see, this will pretty much bring us back to the default. Let's close out our dome here. And that actually brought up our other workspace. Untitled three is a new one that we just created. We can start from scratch again, how we would have on any other workspace, pick our instrument, open up as many ch charts or windows as we need. Then when you save this, we'll come to save workspace as, let's say the name this second instrument group. Now you can see we have two instruments or two workspaces down in the bottom left. You can swap back and forth as needed. If we close them out, Again, remember you can check that do not ask button to avoid those confirmation windows. We can come to open workspace now, and then we'll just pretty much need to navigate to that workspace section in which we save them to. As you can see, we can find them right here. Pretty much just want to select on that, and it'll open up your workspace exactly in the position you saved off last. Again, once you open them up, you can swap back and forth. If you don't close these out, they'll pretty much just add up in tabs across your screen. So you can just hop back and forth between group to group as you may need for whatever instruments you're particularly using at that moment in time. Again, you can have these arranged across multiple windows, so they all still act under the workspace. And as you can see, although you can't use the window arrangement tool to sort out the dome, being that we did save this dome, at the time of when we created this workspace, this is actually saved to the workspace as well. So again, if you throw this onto another monitor and save it on that other monitor or have a position on that other monitor and then save it as a workspace, it'll be thrown into that exact position as where you left off on where you, when you last saved. Just a real quick video showing you how to manipulate and manage workspaces when using Forex instruments on multi-charts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Forex content, whether that be on a WANDA, WANDA desktop, or in a web, multi-charts. We offer a ton of different futures trading platforms if you're interested in that as well. If you do have any comments or questions, concerns, please post them in the comment section down below or post them on our community forum, which is linked in the description. And if you're interested in trying out Forex data specifically provided by Owanda on multi-charts, please check the description as well. We'll post the link for a demo data feed down there. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.